My name is Luke Bradley. I can him say it after me? Luke. Luke. Bradley. Bradley. Cool. And I come from a small place called Gisborne in New Zealand. Have you been to New Zealand before? One, two, three. Cool. Okay, so today we're talking about my country and our traditions and our culture, okay? But first things first, um, in every Māori situation like this, we start off with a dance, okay? And that dance is just to get a feel for the, for the people, make sure it's, um, we're coming in peace and not war. So the first dance is called Toya Mai, okay? Please enjoy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, you guys showed good respect when you were watching that. Most of you didn't laugh, which is always good. So that dance is called Toya Mai, and Toya Mai is basically, like I said, when, when people meet for the first time, Māori will do that dance to sense whether it's a, you're coming in peace or coming in war. Okay, and obviously today I'm coming in peace. All good. So Toya Mai talks about when I'm doing this action here, it means we're bringing our waka or our boat ashore to meet new people for the first time okay so the next dance i'm going to do is called kamate who knows kamate nice tj all right and kamate <laughs> is talking about um basically it's a dance we do before going into war okay so kamate is used by a very famous rugby team who knows the name of that rugby team or something Wonderful, all blacks, okay? So they do this dance before going into battle, and their battle was obviously rugby, but back in the days, it was before going into war, okay? So it's called kamate, and we're all going to learn this dance later, okay? So you might, you might laugh possibly, but just remember that later on today we're going to be learning that dance, okay? So once again, it's called kamate, and it's used before going into war. So the Maoris use it as a way to lift their motivation or lift their performance in sports these days okay so come up to the name please enjoy the stance thanks tj Thank you very much. Who's seen that dance before? No children. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. So Kamate, like I said before, very famous by the All Blacks. All right. And later today, we're going to all have a chance to get up and uh, try it. Okay. So you'll notice um, Maori people, when they do a dance, their eyes go big and their tongue comes out sometimes, right? So that's just using, we use that as an expression or to get out our anger when we see the tongue go like that, all right? So that's called Kamate. I'm looking forward to teaching you all that dance later on today. Okay, any questions before I wrap this up? All good, TJ? Okay, so you want to move the room. Yes. And because what we're going to do is work. Bradley Sensei is going to teach us how to do the haka. Okay, so right. 
Yeah, I'm a little rusty. A long time, yeah. <laughs> so what do we what do we need to do? We need to because students have bags and everything and the chairs. Okay, so the yeah, I I guess the main thing is gonna be looking at this whiteboard here. So we need the whiteboard here? Yes. Do you wanna use that one or this one? Um I guess this one will be fine. You can look more see it from where you're sitting actually. Okay. So the first fifteen minutes will be about talking and stuff. And the last three minutes will be interactive, dancing, All right. and a couple of other games and stuff. Okay. 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 Good. So, are we going to get rid of these chairs? Um. Oh, yeah, maybe we should. Yeah, let's get rid of them. Okay. So we're going to get ready so we can start to do this particular dance, and we need to take the chairs, put them chairs all the way in the back, and also your bags over to the side. Okay. So everybody, let's get Got up it. and move all the chairs so we can get ready Got to it. learn how to do this. That was good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here we go.